Thanks for joining me again for part two, the return trip from Manistee up to Ann Arbor on my birthday flight. Uh, here we are at Manistee, coming up on runway 28. We're going to depart and head back to the southeast towards Ann Arbor. Uh, the wind was coming right down the runway this time, or nearly so, and uh, it was a pretty uneventful departure, but you're gonna get a really nice view of Lake Michigan as, you, as we take off and make that turn. So thanks again for coming along for the ride. I'll see you in a minute or two and I'll have some more to share. Thanks, enjoy. Okay, so we'll take a look inside the plane again. There's the two G5s, the Garmin G430, some radios and the intercom, a couple of uh, navigation instruments, the G3X, which is a touch screen, of course. You can see it's cruising along at 125 knots. This time the wind was quite at our back there, 124 knots, and then the G5 there on the left. And then we'll head back to the outside view.
Okay, so this time what we've got out the right wing is a view of the Lansing Airport as we flew by. Uh, a relatively big airport, Clash Charlie. You can see three runways. Two of them are sort of hard to see. And then the third one was at that angle there. Some Michigan highways. And uh, what folks call East Lansing. Down there somewhere in that pile is Michigan State University where my son goes to school and uh, you know some lakes and rivers and all the other beautiful scenery that you can see from 7,500 feet in, in Michigan. Right after this transition, if you listen carefully, you'll hear the engine noise decrease sharply. That was the sound of reducing power because ATC had finally cleared me for the descent down from 7,500 feet after holding me up because of a passing jet that was landing at a nearby small airport. Obviously, he didn't want me to descend down into where that jet was going. So now we'll watch the descent below the clouds into a very bumpy and windy layer on my final approach to uh, Ann Arbor. And we'll pick it up there. So here we are making our return to Ann Arbor. You can see the airport as the white sliver on the top right, just below the horizon. In a second, I'm going to be turning to uh, align myself with the runway. But we had a really strong wind coming from the north, just about 90 degrees uh, uh, perpendicular to the runway. And I had to uh, really correct to get back over the center line. I had to turn pretty sharp. I didn't want to turn too sharp, so you'll see I actually made a little bit of a mistake and go a little bit past the runway and have to correct and come back. But that's preferable to do that than to turn too sharp and have something worse happen. So uh, you'll see that and then you'll see the rest of the, the landing. I really appreciate everybody tuning in to watch these videos. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and 
hit that like button and subscribe to make sure that you catch the next set of videos. Thanks again.